Hi everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win. And again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some NBA playoff action for May the 13th, I want to invite you again to join. You'll have access to the VIP club section. Look at all these great tools you have across the top here to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're into the second round of the NBA playoffs. And this is for Monday, May the 13th. And there are two games scheduled, so we'll take a look at both of them. The Boston Celtics and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Boston comes in average status, and Cleveland comes in average as well. And it's the, the series at this moment that I'm recording this is even at one game apiece. You can see a Boston winning in a blowout in the first game, and Cleveland winning in a blowout in the second game. If you take a look at the over-under, the teams have been involved in games over the line, both games in the series. The score prediction has Boston winning on the road uh, by 5 points, 109 to 104. With about 73% level of confidence in the prediction. Boston advanced to the second round of the playoffs by taking down um, Miami in five games. And Boston won 64 games in the regular season, easily the best record in the NBA. And the Cavaliers were the fourth seed in the conference with 48 wins. And they advanced by defeating the Magic in seven games. Um, if you take a look at the power ranks indicator, see Boston is at plus 26 compared to plus 23 for Cleveland. Cleveland on the upward trend. Head-to-head -head matchups be, uh, during the regular season, you can see here as we scroll down through that uh, Boston won two out of the three games that every home team was victorious uh, during the regular season. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent are the teams with regard to their favorite underdog status? Boston almost a perfect straight line upward, right? It's a very very linear trend here, upward at uh, plus 49, and pretty consistent as well for Cleveland at plus 22. Uh, the Celtics were 27 and 14 on the road this season, actually better than the Cavaliers' um, home record by a game. Cavaliers were 26 and 15 at home. I like the Boston Celtics to take this one. Uh, I like to get them take control of the series with their road win in a game over the line. Oklahoma City at Dallas. Oklahoma City Thunder burning hot down, and Dallas Mavericks are average up. You can see during this season, uh, excuse me, during the playoff series, uh, both teams won one game. Oklahoma City winning the first one, Dallas winning by nine on the road in the second one to even the series. And the games have been um, one over and one under so far this uh, series. And the overall trend for Oklahoma City has been involved in games under the line, and the overall trend for Dallas is games over the line. If we take a look at the score prediction, it's Dallas by 12, 120 to 108, with a high level of confidence in the prediction of about 77%. On the power ranks indicator, Oklahoma City still ahead of Dallas by 28 to 25, but Dallas has closed the gap in that category as well. The Thunder finished with the first seed uh, in the conference with 57 wins and, and winning the tiebreaker over Denver, who also had 57 wins. Um, they defeated the Pelicans in four games in the first round of the playoffs, so they, they won rather easily in the opening round. The Mavericks were the number five seed in the conference, and they won 50 games during the regular season, and they defeated the Clippers four games to two in the first round. Um, so let's take a look at a few other things here. Um, the head-to-head -head matchups during the regular season. You can see here that, uh, let's take a look here. They played quite a few times in the regular season, starting in December of two, there we go, December the 2nd, Oklahoma City won. Now, it's Oklahoma City won three of the four games during the regular season, uh, and Dallas won one at home. Two games were blowouts. Oklahoma City won by phew, a bundle there, like almost 50, 49 points in the one game, and Dallas won by 35 in the one game. Dallas was 25 and 16 at home during the regular season, and Oklahoma City was 24 and 17 on the road, so uh, pretty close to the same record, home and road, as far as that goes. If you look at the stability factor, how consistent are the two teams? Look at this, almost dead even. Look at the line. Look, the trend line is almost identical, right? And there's a little period in here in January where uh, Oklahoma City was above Dallas, where Dallas was a little bit inconsistent, but overall, look at the trend here towards the end of the season. 32 to 31 means both teams are consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Um, here's the thing in this one. It depends on who wins game three as far as how my pick's going to go in this one. If the Mavericks win game three, I'm going for the Thunder. If not, I like the Mavericks in a tight game and 
one going over the line. Perhaps you're taking over time to decide it. So there you have it. Those are the two games for the NBA playoffs for the May the 13th. Happy betting, and we will see you again next time.